Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Mike Tip Students. We're back with another episode, season four, episode four. Throw your foes up. Absolutely. I'm the home. I'm Malachi. <clears throat> and we got a fun one today. I'm excited about this one, if I'm being honest. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a good little. Because I'm interested to see what Malachi has to say. All right. Okay. I'm honestly worried about your answers. Like, I went Why? to sleep yesterday just scared. Okay. Now that you were gonna just being embarrass yourself on. Now you're being extra. Okay. Or maybe it'll be me. Who knows? It it, it might be. Yeah. It absolutely might highly be. doubt it, but it's okay. All right. All right. Today, <coughs> we are talking about. Well, actually, before we get to that, let me start by adding. <coughs> all of our episodes are now on audio streaming platforms. Yes. So look to Apple Podcasts. Spotify. Look to Spotify. Look to. SoundCloud, Google Play, I think it is. YouTube, Google yeah. Play. <clears throat> Look to all those different platforms, uh, whichever one fits your need, and you'll be able to find the mic up students. Yes, all sir. the seasons, season four especially. Um, so check for that. That was uh, first little plug. Second off, today's episode. Yeah. <laughs> today's episode yeah. is called The Goat. Greatest <laughs> of all time. The greatest of all time. Yeah. We're basically going to be discussing different categories and choosing the greatest in each of those categories in our eyes mm-hmm. and mm. first one yeah greatest actor who's the greatest actor <clears throat> of all time malachi of all time why, all why time. are you pinning it on me because why, i why asked can't you go i i paused to see if you were gonna step in and introduce it and you didn't well because so you were, i you were just going on the roll so i just well, let you just well let you go because remember and last I, time and i kept going remember last time you got upset because I and i talk. kept and i kept going mm-hmm. so i kept going this so, time so, so what's who the you, greatest no who you think is the who's the greatest actor? actor of all time i i have a uh, favorite actors that's the, um, not the question i asked you yeah i know <clears throat> if i'm being real could you essentially pin the greatest actor based off of how many um, Oscars they've won? I mean, maybe. I didn't even look at that. How many Oscars they've won? I didn't even look at that. So, okay, here, why don't we do this? I feel like this is one of no, the no, episodes no, no, we no, can no. have. No, I'm not going to look it up. I'm just saying. No, I'm going to say look it up. Because if, if I get angry, if I get riled up, I'm going to need to pull statistics. No, no I, I feel them, you, so I'm but, I'm, but I'm saying like. Say who your favorite is, and I'll say who my And then after, we'll see who actually, based on Oscars. No, but can you? Why is it so hard for you to give your answer? Oh, it's not hard. So okay, so give your answer. Okay, so I think that one of the greatest. No, no. The episode is called Goat, bro. Okay, I understand. So when I ask you, this should not be this hard. When I ask you, who's the greatest actor of all time? We. He's already fans. We had how many days, Michael? He's already. How many days do we have? No, I have my list together. We had a week to write down I have my names for each of them. And then when I get to the episode and ask him the first one have, on the list, he's list. like, ah, yeah, see, my favorite is. Da-da. Bro, just say your answer. Do you see how, how frustrated he's getting? Like, hey, bro, tranquilo. Give your answer. Is that the word? Is that how you say oh it? Oh, my. Tran- give your answer. Tranquilo. It's like, why? Tranquilo. You're, be- you're beating around the bush, bro. Tranquilo. No, that's definitely wrong. Tran- tran- <sighs> Tranquilo. It's tranquilo, I think bro. It right. tranquilo. It's there tranquilo, it is. I said, bro. I said it right the first oh, time. My. Anyway, so I would probably say that I think, <clears throat> I think the greatest actor I'd probably say is Denzel. I get Denzel. <gasps> Finally, Jesus Christ, Jesus Cristo. Oh my, yeah, I'm Denzel too. That's what I put. I put Denzel oh, Washington. Yes. Okay. See, this, yes. we could have been on to the next category. But why did you get but so why angry? Did you get so angry? Uh, geez, Denzel, yes, hey, Denzel. Man. I was just watching Flight the other day. It's a classic, uh, bona fide. I'm the greatest like movie of all time. Book of Eli. Book of Eli, Book of Eli is, is a great movie, but he has so many great movies. Training Day is no, an excellent does. movie. He has a, he has a lot of. Great He's got movies. so many great movies. To, He's, I, to go ahead. Answer your question about uh, oh, Oscars. The most Oscars in first place is Catherine Hepburn with four wow. Oscars. Oh, wow. Then it is a one, two, three, four, five, six way tie for second place between wow. Daniel Day Lewis, Francis. Francis McDormand, Ingrid Bergman, Jack Nicholson, Meryl Streep, and Walter Brennan, all with three. Jack Nicholson. Wow. Mm. Wow. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, he's a great actor. I was going to say, other than Denzel. Maybe uh, I'm just biased. I say Leo's pretty good, too. Yeah, but didn't he get snubbed hella times for Oscars? Leo got... Yeah, Leo yeah. got snubbed. Leo's a like, great actor, though. But see, that's why I'm saying the Oscars is not really a, a good accurate... Day, because if you yeah. think about the Grammys, right, for music, mm-hmm. Snoop only has one Grammy. Yeah, that's insane. One Grammy. That's insane. Brian McKnight never got a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? And these are some of the greatest artists in their respective areas, mm-hmm. and they've never mm-hmm. won Grammys. Kendrick Lamar lost 
to Macklemore. Yep. yep. Macklemore. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> so no, I don't, I don't like to use those. You know, award ceremonies for accurate okay, so, gauges. Okay, for so greatness. the technique. Okay, then who would be? What would be considered a good gauge? On <sighs> uh, it's it's all subjective. Yeah, exactly, it is subjective. It's all subjective. Yeah, but that's what makes you these know, arguments you know so who, fun. You know, everyone you has know, their point of views. You know who's a really good actor? Who? I I personally, and this is probably one of my favorites. I personally love Will Ferrell. Oh, God, that's this is gross. <laughs> Don't drink it no more. You're done. Drink the water. That's that's your drink for the episode. Bro, this is that's, that's bad. I wasted money. I don't like coffee, bro. <laughs> I don't like coffee, but why would you get it? Okay, okay. <sighs> no, but Will Fer- I love Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell's funny, but he he's not hilarious. very versatile as an actor. Well, yeah, because he's he's a comedian. Yeah, he does he does comedy. But what as, do you think about Kevin? What do you think as, about Kevin Hart kind of trying to get into that that lane? A, so I think that okay, serious so lane. This, I can't take oh, him oh, seriously. Oh, the serious it. lane. Yeah, I say no. You say, I say no. I say no because so, I think so. This is just a personal opinion. I feel like his earlier stand-ups, um, so like little grown man. Um, <coughs> what's the other one? Where he has really, really short hair. I forgot the name of it. But anyway, like his earlier stand-ups, I think those are more funny than his ones now. Well, I'm not even talking about stand up No, no, I know, I know. I'm but what I'm it. saying is, is, as in, I honestly prefer Kevin Hart in like movies. Is it that makes sense? So other than stand what, now what do you mean by that so like i prefer i prefer him in a uh like if i'm gonna watch him i prefer watching him in a movie than over than a stand-up like think like a man is hilarious but that was like around the time when he was <laughs> yeah, exactly when he, top of the world yeah in terms of comedy. but it's yeah but i'm saying like just in general like i feel like he's just like how funny. what it, didn't he he just put out two movies like in the last two years i didn't watch either of them bro you talking about the ones on netflix no, he put one out with uh, The Rock. Didn't he do like Jumanji too? J- Jumanji's hilarious though. I didn't watch it. Jumanji's funny. A remake of Jumanji is actually pretty funny. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it. But I it's but it's it. because <coughs> it's because Kevin Hart is in there doing his thing. Jack Black is a, oh my god. Oh, Jack Black. Jack is, Black is he's a great actor. He's funny Jack too. Black is a great actor yeah. too. Nacho Libre is one of my favorite. Oh movies my all time. bro, that's a great bro, movie. Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre is and a great. <laughs> Lose my hand to wipe my <laughs> Bro, Nacho Libre is hilarious, bro. Uh, that is a great movie. Nacho Libre is hilarious. Like, I, was, I was in the movie theater dude, crying. He was like Gilligan's Island or something like that. Was that a movie he did? Or he no. was like on a ship or something, traveling around. The, it was comedy. I was dying. Someone in the they comments took let the us chips. know. <laughs> did you tell them that they were the Lord's chips? <laughs> Nacho Libre is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Uh, that's a great movie. That's a great movie. Yeah, but okay, okay. Let's let's call that. We both said Denzel. Yeah, we both, we both bashed Denzel. on the different ceremonies. That <laughs> not accurate enough. Mm-hmm. Next one, greatest singer. Who you who you who you think? <sighs> See, this is a tough one. Okay, because wow. you know who my favorite singer is, yeah, but I can't I call that person the greatest singer of all time. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I'd say he's up there. Not in terms of versatility in his voice. No. No, probably not. He has a pocket. And, and he has, yeah, he's good he in stays in it. He's amazing in it. Songwriting is, is what really elevates him to an extra level. John mm-hmm. Legend. John Legend is my favorite singer of all time. But the greatest? Michael Jackson. Tell me why I wrote that down, too. <laughs> Michael Jackson. I wrote Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. So I, <laughs> I wrote Michael Jackson. So look, so look, I wrote Michael Jackson, but I also wrote. But you wrote, go argue, though. Aretha I Franklin. Said, I was going to say Aretha, you but go, I also you, said Whitney Houston, you, too. I, that was the other name I was going to say. That was the other name no. I was going to say. But I feel like that's, I don't know. That just has to be like, I don't know. It just has Whitney to be. Whitney Houston has a great voice. Whitney's, Whitney Houston's voice. Was powerful. But, her, but the thing is, Aretha Franklin could stand in a room, an auditorium. No microphone yeah, and project. project to the top. Yeah, to the top. Well, that's because back then that's kind of what you had to do. You you had to learn how to project. No, she but she had they had microphones. No, no, I know, but I'm saying nowadays a lot of art because I I experienced this artists when they get into the the or at least amateur <laughs> artists when they get into this the the studio or whatever they'll sing with like that like they're just recording in the bathroom <laughs> like but i'm know, sure like that's how they sing. all that's how they all start though you're talking about people no, that, I, you said I, amateurs that's yeah, how they're starting amateur. out yeah aretha is already i feel like yeah she to, mm, i feel Ari- like <laughs> 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 yeah. is she there project man you gotta oh project oh my gosh he was yeah but yeah. My, i'm sorry michael's just, i said michael michael could mimic singer. instruments with his voice yeah 
Michael's that's Michael. why there's that debate, right? You know, Michael. people say if you put Prince in a room like this by itself, yeah, or if you put Prince in a room with like all the instruments, he could play like every instrument. Yeah, if you put Prince in a room with all the instruments and you put Michael in a room just by himself, who's coming out with a better song or a better product? I guess it's subjective to what you like, yeah. but Prince is gonna give you an entire. Like he's playing all the instruments, he's giving you an entire like track, mm -hmm. plus his voice. Michael literally could mimic like all the sounds of different instruments with his voice, and his voice just by itself. Like I, I used to watch YouTube videos where they would like find the raw files, mm -hmm. like literally the broken down raw files of um like Billie Jean and mm -hmm. stuff like that, or um the way you make me feel, mm -hmm. and you just listen to the raws of just his voice, his vocals. Mm -hmm. It's like, gosh, bro. Yeah, he he made it's the song, he made the song super full. It's crazy. I and he didn't use it. a sound like th the difference is like when you look at the way his voice changed from when he was a child mm -hmm. to where he is now. It's like still as good, but in a completely yeah, different way. In a different way, yeah. No, that's right. Michael just in general, bro. He had the yeah. juice, or he had the salt, Wh whatever you want to call it, bro. He yeah, has no, he had some past that. I was like, he's past it, bro. Yeah. If you have, I seen a video, bro. If you are in a concert, bro. Standing there still, and you have women falling out, yeah, but Elvis passed out. Have you ever see the Elvis movie? No, I've seen that too. That's what I'm saying. Like, Elvis, Elvis did the Elvis just, but Elvis stole everything. From but it's like, you gotta, that's, you're everything. past the sauce, bro. You got people crying in, in, in the stage, not moving a muscle. Yeah, I can't give the concert thing too much. That's crazy to me, though. I can't give the concert thing too much. What you mean? Because there's a lot of people that didn't did that. James Brown used to have people. All type of stuff. <laughs> James Brown <laughs> with his little hair. James Brown, because he used to do them dance moves, and that's what, what it was for Elvis too. Elvis used to do like like weird hip gyrations. <laughs> Had a white lady just falling, falling out. It was real, because they never saw stuff like that, at least from you yeah. know white artists. Yeah, but Elvis. crazy. Okay, next next one. Next got? one. So I, I said Michael, you said Michael, but we we brought up others. Yeah, greatest superpower. Greatest superpower. <clears throat> I know we're gonna have different. I he's gonna say super speed, which you I think, think you think that's what I'm gonna say. What, what is your? Do you think that's what I'm gonna say? What is the greatest superpower? I don't ever? know. Okay, <laughs> all right. You first. I, I think, answered the last one. I think that the greatest superpower. I think we will have to say time manipulation. So like controlling time, speed up. But it's also the Rewind riskiest How so? superpower. How so? No, not, okay, not, not necessarily jumping forward in time, or not necessarily like, um, like. Like time jumping, more so just like you speed it up, you know, you run it back, pause it. I feel like that lowers your quality of life. How so? Because you don't ever get to like just live. I mean, you can. Not really. But it's like because every time you, because if I have the, if I know I have the power to, to change my grade, I had to see in that class, then I'm never <laughs> gonna get. And but, I'm, I go back and make it an A. But you gotta think any superpower changes your quality of life. Because you, you no, have, it doesn't you all. Have, they don't all lower them though. I mean, it can, yeah. Flying, you know. be, being able to fly lowers your quality of life. It might. It, How? Ab it absolutely might. I don't How? know. Let's say you're flying in the How? air. Being able to teleport that lowers your quality of life. It might because what if what if you were like okay you about to go on a road trip boom I could just teleport there where's the where's the camaraderie you know what I'm saying with 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 with, with the group you just like boom I'm, I'm there that could lower it am I is that valid I, I feel like I do road trips out of necessity. If I could fly somewhere, I'm gonna fly somewhere. <laughs> like, okay, uh, I can have camaraderie at the place that I'm going to. My thing is though, if I had time manipulation, we can get in the car and I just speed it up. So instead of like an hour, it's like a three minute. Type okay, uh, okay. But this is my thing. My thing is like whenever you make mistakes, mm -hmm. you have the most people don't have the willpower to be like I'm just gonna leave it as a mistake if they know they have the power yeah that's to true. go back and change that that's true so now you're not learning from anything in your life actually no you're no that's wrong because you are learning from your mistakes because now when you go back you're doing it a different way but you're, but then they don't come out they're not actually a mistake though I guess in the because ahead, everyone Michael. else because Michael wants to say so go ahead so there's actually a video game about this exact dilemma it's called Life is Strange. Where they wow. literally hammer hone exactly what you're saying, though. Oh, wow. They make that exact point because the person can literally just rewind time and reset all of their mess ups, and they just never learn from the stuff they yeah. do. So everything they do is perfect, but not yeah. really. Exactly. So to, the outside world, you're the most perfect person to ever live. 
Well, yeah, I guess for the outside world, yes. But I'm saying, that's in, what I'm saying. But, but I'm saying internally, if you made a mistake and then you go back and fix it, then no, technically you it, learn. For, it, technically, you learn how to do it the right way. But not really, though, because you're cheating. No one else knows it's a mistake because you went back and you changed it. Who cares what everybody else think? In fact, is I know, I know, I messed up. I guess, and I, I can like, fix it. I feel like if I, I don't know. That's I just think that's cheating. I mean, I see what you're saying. I, I, yeah. I see. What you're, I definitely see what you're saying. I think that would mess with my head more than being able to fly. <laughs> more than being able to teleport or have super speed. Yeah. Mine would probably be teleportation. Though. Was, real quick. Have you seen Tenet? The movie Tenet with uh, Denzel no, Son? Denzel Son, no, I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? I had to watch it like three times because it was the first time just <laughs> went right past my head. I couldn't, mm-hmm. I couldn't keep up with it. Second time, I started to kind of get a little bit. And then the third time, I'm still a little confused with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> it was actually like a reverse type of. It wasn't really time. Like it was time, but it was also just like a mirrored. Yeah, yeah. so it was like interesting. It was confusing, bro. All right, I said greatest superpower teleportation because I can be everywhere I want to be, anywhere I want to be there. I feel like that's awesome though. No, I get you it. Know what I'm saying I think because if you think about cool. the barriers that in the world as a world of people that we've set to explore the rest of the world. It's insane. In I'm terms sorry. of the cost, like the the way that we, you know, the the way that some people are never able to travel in their entire lives because of how costly it is to travel with a family, especially. So, so I alleviate all of that by being able to teleport. So your your reason for teleporting is because you don't want to spend the money to go travel somewhere. I shouldn't have to spend the money to go travel somewhere. <laughs> what hey. do you mean you shouldn't have to <laughs> Yeah. Capitalist society, man. Oh I don't my god! You. If you didn't spend them. Okay, we're not gonna get exactly. into it. Really. Greatest chip of all time. <laughs> I honestly don't have one just because I don't really eat chips like that. If I did, you I don't have a greatest I'd, chip. I'd say maybe hot fries. Maybe hot fries. If I've never counts. seen you eat hot fries ever. That's probably like the only chip that I do eat. That's a lie. You're lying. What are you talking about? You, when you, you were, ne- sta- bro. When you were saying, I literally had, had hot fries. I literally had hot fries no, in didn't. the pantry, dude. No, you didn't. No, okay. All no, right. I'm you had them little jalapeno chips. Those those were good. Yeah, those were good. Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips is my. It's gonna be. That's my greatest chip. Miss Vicky's, Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips is cool. Miss Vicky's kettle cooked jalapeno chips. It's my go to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really eat chips like that. I because ne- you know what it was? I never liked I like potato chips. chips. What? Yeah, like Lay's. Like when I was younger, I didn't like them because it tasted like, like too much potato. Malachi, you feel me? Can you say that again? I said I didn't like the, because I didn't really like potatoes at the time. So it's like, why would I eat a chip made out of something I don't like? Does that doesn't that that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> it does make sense. That's like that's like that's greatest like, rapper that's of like, all time. Hold on, hold on. That's no, like I don't that's like do eating it. a chip. I don't want to do it. Made out of like like bananas. That's disgusting. <sighs> you never had banana chips? No. Never had plantain chips? No. Oh my god, plantain chips are bananas fire. as a whole are disgusting. <laughs> Wow, disgusting! You Banana. agree with that, Michael? Bananas are gross. Wow, you but, don't like bro, bananas? No, because you know, because you're weird. Because you, he likes the laffy taffy banana yeah, flavor. That's yeah, that's odd. Yeah, that's, that's one odd. of the best flavors. That that's that's one of the best flavors. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the best flavors. <laughs> Over Banana like cherry. Flavor, yeah, t- cherry tastes like medicine. I'm good off of that. Strawberry. Strawberry grape. one's great. It's great. Grape, no. I don't like grape flavored anything. Tastes like. Oh, what is? Have wrong, you ever had a? Uh, you and I both don't like. What's nothing. that cough syrup called? Um, Damn. Diamond tap. Dimetap, every grape flavor candy of all, ever, even grape soda. The only reason tastes I like Dimetap because my grandma used to, used to give me Dimetap and you used to like it, right? I actually kind of did. I, like I, it. I t- what, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Exactly. That's, I actually did kind of like that. Nasty. When she would be because it was no. every time before I was about to get a cold. Mm, um, and, and this and this is my grandma. She would hold Dimetap for years, bro. It was expired. It was expired Diamond Tap. We we know this. But she Wait, would be so like, used to drink expired. Expired Diamond Tap. But she <laughs> she would literally take a spoon out of the no, kitchen. No, no, no. We can't skip over it. You were you were ingesting you have, bro, you have to, expired you, medicine. You have, to, you have to think about this is grandparents, man. They give ex- My grandma never gave me expired uh, medicine. My grandparents ex- expired stuff. <laughs> oh gosh. My grandma in, in Sacramento, oh, uh, she'll keep expired Everything in the refrigerator. We gotta tell her, like, hey, man, you gotta you gotta get rid of this. This expired three years ago. Wait, how does it live in the fridge still? Well, I mean, it's like it's like ketchup, like it's stuff like uh, that. But that be looking nasty. Yeah, I know, I know. No, but we 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 throw it out. My grandma doesn't do that. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, diamonds have in a little spoon, and then drink. Ah, uh, disgusting. That actually tastes kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. 
Because greatest, it didn't, it didn't taste like medicine. Greatest rapper of all time, bro. Greatest rapper of all time. Uh, no. We're at, oh, we are. Yes, we are. So who you got, man? Who did I write down? Who did, I write down? Who did you write down? You don't remember who you wrote down? I don't. Who did you I got you mine. Put? Come on now. <laughs> Who'd you put? No, I asked you. It was your turn. Who do I want to say? Okay, so I wrote down. I say I say I put Pac up there. I so, put Pac. Okay, so you put Pac. I put Pac. Okay. I think. Okay, go ahead. Before I bore no, 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 no. Go ahead. Finish. No, no, finish no. your thoughts. No, no. I don't. I I I said I said no, what I said. I, I know, but I'd rather you finish your thoughts. Okay, but don't I hold off you, to hear my I'm, answer. I'm not then. gonna. I'm not gonna hold. I I know who I write. I said Pac. Okay, okay, so who who do you have? Kendrick Lamar. Okay. All time. Okay. All time. All time, easy. Sorry. All right. Okay, actually, I don't disagree. He doesn't um, have a bad. He does not have a bad album. He has seven. I, I won't. Pretty much classic albums. <clears throat> seven. Okay, would I say he's the greatest? How of about all this? How about this? Name, I might not say name, that. Name. But hold on. But I will say I will. I will agree that he is one of the greatest because of his lyricism. Okay. Well, name three Kendrick Lamar albums. I mean, I don't really listen to Kendrick all that. Can like you name three of them? I mean, there's damn. Okay. What's the other one? Oh, 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 oh. Um, one with the track in the front. Okay, okay, Mad City. There it is, and those are the only two. Oh wow! I got right now. Can you name three Pac albums? What? I, I guess. I guess what I'm asking is like, what's like, what do you? I'm just saying. I'm just asking. Can you name three Pac albums? Not off the top of my head, no. No. Okay. So what's saying. the? Uh, I don't know. I feel like when people say, Pac is. Pac has so much good music, mm -hmm. but I don't think people listen to eighty percent of it. No, I mean it's a lot. What do you mean it's a lot? Like he has it's a not lot. like he has, too he, short a lot. No, he no. doesn't have that much music. No, he, has a, he doesn't have that much music. But I'm saying like he has he has good stuff, but it's it's stuff that's like, okay. You know, you listen to that it makes you feel good, and it's like, all right, I'm gonna go on to another yeah. song. Yeah, I mean he's got some song. classics. He's got a no, no. He has a lot of classics, a lot of hits. Yeah, he's very very poetic in the way that he raps. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know, but in terms of flow, Biggie has the greatest flow of all time. I do like Biggie flow. Biggie has the greatest flow of all time. I actually really like 50 Cent, too. F 50 Cent? 50 Get Rich or Die Trying is in my top 10 albums, but 50 Cent only has two good albums. So I just like, you know what it is? Besides, I just like, that's I like not his, I like including G-Unit, though. That's not including anything he did with G-Unit. Get Rich or Die Trying is a good album. Get, no, it's top 10 album all time. Get Rich or Die Trying is a top 10 album all time. I think There's too many hits. <laughs> there's, too, there's too many hits. <laughs> no, that's facts, though. That's facts. I think if we're talking about, like... So my my favorite artist is J Cole, so I like his I think, like his do you think I like J his Cole flow. is a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar? So I I think ooh I think Kendrick Lamar's that's not what lyricism I answer is the question okay so here so I, again I feel better, like it's, hold better. on hold on because I feel I feel like we I feel like we're comparing different things though so I like J Cole's <laughs> I like J Cole's beats and I also like the way like just I like the way he sounds so I could argue that yeah I think he's better than okay. than Kendrick Lamar okay. You talk about his lyricism, which I'm I don't. You talking disagree. about like when you say sounds, you mean like his voice? Yeah, like the way his voice okay, sounds, like, his like flow, like, stuff like, like that. Like how Easy E say they they say Easy E had the golden, he was the golden voice of rap or whatever. But he's no one ever mm -hmm. puts him at the top of the list. What do you mean? What do you mean? Easy had one of the greatest rap voices slash flows all time. No, I mean I get that. I'm saying, but it's like you know, okay. Uh, but Kendrick, listen, this is my this is my thing about Kendrick, right? Kendrick Lamar can make a hit that you'll hear in the club. Kendrick Lamar. Can make one of the most intricate and complex rap, lyrically rap, lyrical rap songs that you'll ever hear. Kendrick Lamar has not had a bad album. Kendrick Lamar has multiple Grammys, but we're not even, you know, really. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna just because one of his best albums ever, he didn't get a Grammy for it too, and Butterfly, but it is what it is. Um, Kendrick Lamar can get on any beat and rip it. Kendrick, I watched the video. I can say the same I thing about J Cole though. I mean he. You can say the same that J Cole could hop on a V and like when when he Jekyll did that. That's good, but J Cole's but J Cole doesn't have J Cole has all right albums. Sideline mm. Story is an all right album. Mm. It's an all right album. Are you kidding me? Name four songs of Sideline Story. See, okay, okay. All right. What what are you what are you basing it off? Of? But also J Cole J Cole got into his lyrical bag later in his career. I'll agree with that. I'll I'll agree with that. Kendrick has been that guy, the same guy. <laughs> K dot. Go through different. He's gone through different stages. Like that's the thing. So like, he takes forever. Like as of recently, at least he takes forever to put out an album because he has mm -hmm. to go through something before he decides how he wants to express that musically. Mm -hmm. And when he does express it musically, 
it's always in a different like did, it's always different did you like his last album there's no yes loved it i went to the tour it was amazing it was excellent was that the tour or the con was, oh yeah it was yeah, a tour yeah, yeah, for yeah, that yeah, album yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's a tour for that album uh, mr morale and the big steppers but no album sounds the same for, uh, for, for kendrick. kendrick not one album sounds the same so okay so it sounds like you're attracted to the the um the artistry yeah so when you ask me who the best I'm, rapper no, I'm slash saying, artist is yeah. I'm saying like the 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 um the word is is failing me right now, but how he does stuff differently, differentiation mm -hmm. between all his tracks. Yeah, no one. W the reason I don't listen to Rod Wave anymore is because he uh, makes the same same album. Yeah. He's dropped the same album the last three albums, <laughs> and I don't understand it because <laughs> people go, people will be posting his tour like, <laughs> oh understand. man, I can't wait to go. I would have loved to see Rod Wave when he put out Brace Face, <laughs> Green Light. I don't want to see light. Rod Wave anymore. Rod Wave sings about the same stuff every hey, album. Yeah. He needs to. Every album. Whoever's breaking his heart needs to. He needs stop, to. Uh, there's nobody breaking <laughs> his heart. He's selling. He's selling music. That's what he's doing. Yeah, there's nobody. Bro. He's in. He's in a mode. He's in a pocket. He's staying there, yeah. and it, people love it because people are sad. <laughs> people are sad, <laughs> and I don't sad. get it. Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Don't get me wrong. He can sing. He yeah. can sing. He's a good singer. Yeah, he got a nice voice. But he makes the same song over. Over again, young boy, same thing. Young boy, uh, don't, young boy has a lot of good music. Hey, I will say the one thing I like about young boy is young boy be picking some nice beats. Not that's, only does he, that's no, what attracted listen, me to young listen, boy. To young boy picks good beats. Yeah, young boy is also versatile because he did that. You remember that song he did with Tyler the Creator? Hmm? No, he did a song with Tyler the Creator. Tyler the song was on it. He completely switches flows. Great. It's called What's Your Name? I think. Yeah, Was Your Name or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you go and listen to young boy's albums. He has so many albums. He drops an album every other month. Yeah, young boy does that. He lot drops of like, and the thing is like, he drops a sixteen song album every two months. There's no, there's, he's, yeah, just he go, he's just going and saying whatever, and just drops it, just drops. It. That's why he's the most streamed uh, artist or top three. Yeah, in on YouTube, like for the entire like year or past five years, something like that. He's mm -hmm. up there. He has a lot of stuff. But up there. when his album drops, I'm not like, damn, I can't wait to go and listen to the young boy album. Yeah, I'm not, I'll listen to it eventually. And I'll pick and pull a few <laughs> songs, but I'm not I'm not just like anticipating it. Mm -hmm. Lil Baby just dropped the album. Haven't yeah. heard it yet, but I heard it sounds like every other Lil Baby album. You know what I'm saying? Well, because I feel like but you Cole gotta doesn't do that. I feel like you gotta understand. That's true. Cole doesn't do that. But I feel like with some artists, you have to understand like they find what works for them, and then they do it. Now, I mean, person, I mean, personally, I'm a versatile producer, so I don't like making the same type of stuff all the time. Bro, I just told you stop drinking that. I pay for it, bro. <laughs> but I understand, you know, if, if an artist has a niche, they gonna stick with make some money. Okay, that's my thing, right? But it's go that's ahead, go fine. Ahead, go ahead, that's go fine. Mm -hmm. But I feel like let's say so, like Dirk. Dirk does the same thing. I'm not gonna lie, Dirk be doing it uh, as well. But if they were to just like not release music as often as they do mm -hmm. and put together, they can stay in that pocket, mm -hmm. right? Stay in that pocket. But put time, a lot of time and a lot of effort, like a, a six months to a year's worth of time and effort into each of those songs and put together a cohesive 16-song album, that album would be amazing. But the so effort in the artistry isn't there anymore. Okay, so you're saying that because of the volume, yeah. the, the quality, quality is lacks. lower. Yeah. yeah. That's why, that's, that's but understandable. That's, but that's why, like, when you listen to Young Boy stuff, like, Three years ago, you don't really listen to a lot of those songs no more. But you also It'd have be to be so many songs. But you also have to understand the market too. Like, I'll be real. Like, our market is simple. Like, like, mean? like our our generation is simple. But so, you, but if you're talented, yeah, it does not matter what the market is. No, no, no. I get, no, J Cole can drop whenever he wants. No, no, to. no, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that because our because our generation is simple, people like simple music. So they put out yeah. stuff that may be not quote unquote. I'm not. I'm not saying they're not. You know, reaching their potential or whatever. Yeah, they're still putting but out. Still yeah, they're still putting out good quality. Yeah. Stuff, yeah, but it's just it's it's it may not just be as intricate because like I understand who I have to appeal to. Just like for example, okay. great example, Drake. The last album he did, uh, what is it? Nevermind or whatever. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Nobody liked it. I enjoyed it actually. I well, I, I South get, African house I, music. I get you. That's enjoyed what, but that's it. the thing though. But this is what Drake does. Only only song that everybody liked was Jimmy Cooks because it was in the lane. It was simple. That's what I'm saying. But what did Drake? What I you know why I liked that Drake did that? Why? Because Drake decided I don't care what every what what the lane is, 
what is popular right now. I'm going to do what I like because I think it's dope. And, and, I, and I agree with that mentality. I'm not saying I disagree with that. I agree with Give that it mentality. Give it like, because Drake, Drake sets trends. He's a trendsetter. So he literally will put something out, and it'll take people a year, year and a half, six months before they, f- like, okay, wow. This is actually oh, yeah. tight. In a while, that, other all people them songs going to go crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's what, it started with Ye when he put out um, 808s and Heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Nobody liked that album when it came out. Love, yeah. heartless, heartless. People hated that stuff. I wasn't even the biggest <laughs> fan when it came out. <laughs> but then that's what that's what all music is now. It's all mm-hmm. melodic. It's all there's a lot of auto tune. There's a lot of different things like that. And that's one of those things that was introduced music to that. That was around the same time that T Pain came out. Mm-hmm. You know, and T Pain can't sing came out, but, but T Pain can't sing. But either way, the point is just the use of auto tune. Yeah, and the popularization of auto tune in general was was heavy. When that came out, yeah. so being a trendsetter is—I mean—is what I like. It's just, man, I watch. Speaking just to go back to Kendrick to double back, man, I watch videos of people breaking down like some of his verses, some of the stuff that I can't even pick up on. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, how do you even think of that stuff, bro? Yeah, that, no, that, that's true. That's true. how like, you even do you, think of it. Coming up, I watch a, I watch a video of an English and then and then make it rhyme, <laughs> and then make it rhyme. And I watched a video of an English professor, right? And they were breaking down his like rhyme schemes, rhyme patterns, to like Socrates and Aristotle. And, and my thing is like if I was to ever sit down with Kendrick Lamar, I would ask him, "Is this intentional, <laughs> or are you just is that just, just where your normal. mind goes?" Yeah, it's just natural. Because it's like it's too, it's the time. What I appreciate is the time, the effort, the passion that all goes into the song, that all goes into the music, and that creates it to be just amazing in my eyes. In my eyes, mm. but I just I feel like he hasn't missed. I feel like he can can do so much. I mean, people 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 put big out of that conversation because he only had one album. The second album came out after he died, Life After, Life after Death. Mm-hmm. Then people say Drake can't be in that conversation because Drake had a ghostwriter. He had reference tracks, not just a ghostwriter. He had reference tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, Pac obviously can be up there. Um, but the, And the crazy thing about Pac is Pac, man, Pac did it all in five years. Yeah. The that impact, is, that, the is, impact that, that, he had that he had on people, on, people, on the world, in a short amount of time, five yeah, years. Crazy. He died at mm-hmm. twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Five years, man. Yeah, people look at the park for real. So he, you know, he really mapped out his life experiences and did it all before twenty-five. Died at twenty-five. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. People, people insane. always be wondering, like, oh, if Pac was so alive, like, what would it, what would it be like? <sighs> Different. Um, music producer along the same lines. I'm yeah. interested for since you, yeah. Mac Busy, done did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a producer yourself? I know. Who? I have. I have. I'm curious. So if I'm being real, I wasn't able to decide on this. It's hard. That's a hard. I, I wasn't one. able. To I'll give you. How about this? Give me have, two to three. I have. So. Give me so, two to three. Okay. So I. So I, I say. I say Dre. Doctor Dre. I okay. say Dre. Um. I say. Who else did I put down? Um. I think Kanye is a good producer. A good producer. Okay. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. He be getting so caught up in the wordage because words mean wordage. a lot. Okay, words I understand matter, that. I understand that. Th- that is very true. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, so I say Dre, I say Yay. Um, my my favorite producer is, is Mustard right now. Hmm. Um, that's that's interesting. Mustard. Why? Why is it interesting? Because I feel like Mustard for like a good six to seven years was making like really form formulaic songs. Okay. Like he used a lot of the same drums. A lot of the same, like hi hats, the haze. He put a lot of hey, hey, in like all of his songs mm-hmm. for a long time. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like it wasn't until he did like "Needed Me" by Rihanna. Mm-hmm. You need okay. that, that one, yeah. yeah. That he started to actually get versatile in his production. Yeah, but that also that also just comes with people growing as well, um, and also comes with preference as well. Because he did oh so. Gosh. Why do you keep drinking that? So mustard actually started his career with YG. So Mustard and YG, they yeah, and and Tidal Sign, they all essentially kind of came up at the same time, and that's kind of where Mustard got his claim to fame with you know YG and Mm -hmm. and Tidal Sign. So a lot of their songs, even YG has a niche, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, YG's lost right now. (laughs) YG's YG sucks right now too. That song Toxic is cool. Oh my god! But Toxic's only good after like the the first verse sucks. Yeah, it's the sec the hook, and then the second verse, and the end of the song is good, but the first verse is awful. That's why whenever you saw on TikTok before, you know, they were playing it for like months before the song came out. Mm-hmm. They only played the second verse through the rest of it. The first verse was just not that good. 
<laughs> not that good. But I mean, My Crazy Life is a classic. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah, one that yeah, must have produced the whole thing. Well, he facts. produced almost the whole thing. Yeah, no, My Crazy. There's a couple songs crazy. that Terrace Martin did, like "Sorry, Mama." Terrace Mon- Martin did. And I think someone else did do Mustard it. Mustard just has too. a lot of songs, bro. Mustard's done a lot. He's of got songs a lot of hits. With a lot He's of got people, a lot of hits. Bro. He's got a lot of hits for sure. But um, Rick Ross, I like Rick Ross. I in like, terms of what? I, I like the songs that he's been that he's done. Rick Ross. Yeah. I don't know, but we're not talking about rappers anymore. We're talking about producers. Oh, I'm bugging. I'm Rose bugging. is Rose is um, underrated. Um, extremely underrated. Scott Storch. Scott, Scott Storch is dope. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's, but it it comes also. He did um, he did the keys on. Still Dre, still DRE. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he bloom, did. Bloom, 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 um, bloom, 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 bloom. He did those. Who? But else? I heard Dre actually told him, like he executively produced it. So yeah. he like told him, like, oh yeah, keep going. Yeah. Um, and the crazy thing is, Jay Z wrote that song. Mm. Jay Z wrote Still DRE. Both they both they verses. Snoop Dogg mm-hmm. and um, Dr. Dre's verse, which is insane because he's from East Coast, Bro, West Coast was beefing. You know, crazy. But let me give you my producers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Number one is Ye. My opinion. Okay, that's just my favorite. He makes some of my favorite songs, some of the most, just like well put together songs. But I mean, Dre, oh, Dre has sorry. to be in there because Dre did "Get Rich or Die Trying." Dre did pretty yeah. much all the Eminem stuff com- mm-hmm. coming up. Did a lot for Snoop. He did so much. Dre's got to be in there. Pharrell, surprised he didn't have say. I knew Pharrell. you was gonna say Pharrell. Timbaland. Timbaland. There it is. That's bro. There's two of them that I forget. Timbaland's crazy. Timbaland go crazy. And then I was gonna say um, Timbaland is a. Boy, yeah, no, Tim, Tim is a dog. He's he's OG. Oh my gosh, OG. Insane. That's Insane. what I'm saying. If we're talking about OGs, it's Dre, Timbaland, and Storch. And the thing about the thing about Timbaland, well, not not OG, because then you gotta put DJ Premier in there. If you don't put DJ Premier in there, now you're just like, okay. In terms of OGs, he's OGs yeah. before Dre yeah, at the same yeah. time as Dre. That's but, true. But but Timbaland, Timbaland just loves making beats though. Yeah, like he be on Instagram Live and Twitch, just making, making beats. beats. Yep. And yeah. then he'll like take Absolutely. other people's beats, like people like producers that are up and coming. He'll take their beats and say like, "Oh, just send me the beat." And so he'll just go through and pick one, and and help them make it better. Yeah, which is super dope. It's like a master class. No, he do, yeah he does teach a master class. He's amazing. Yeah, but Timberland and and you know Kanye used to look to Timberland a lot, like for the song "Stronger." Kanye did the drums like fifteen times. He redid the drums on that song like fifteen times, and then he called Timberland in to help him redo the drums again. Before mm-hmm. he put it out, yeah, Timbaland is a uh, super under Pharrell. But if you want to say Pharrell, you gotta say the Neptunes, because the Neptunes was the, the production group mm-hmm. that put most of the stuff out for Nerd. But Pharrell was all over Jay Z's Black album. Pharrell was all over a lot of Snoop stuff in the mid two thousand. Pharrell was all over a lot. Yeah, Pharrell's done a lot. He did fronting Jay Z. But the thing about another thing about Pharrell and the Neptunes is they always have like a a, a four count. Before the song starts, of just the beat for the yeah. most part, and it's cool to see what producers do. What do you mean? Like, so there's like not just a tag. A lot of times nowadays, it's just a tag. Mm-hmm. But there are some of the OG producers like oh, you, know, oh, you can just kind of tell when it's they. You beat. just yeah. know it's a Dre beat. Yeah, you know it's a Timbaland beat. Mm-hmm. You know it's a Pharrell beat. You could just tell, and it's not by the sounds, but just there's other things in the Different song. Of, yeah. yeah, it's that like, geez, do. he really put his own flavor on it. And that's why people used to look out, look for, look to Pharrell for beats and look to Timbaland for beats. Like, yo, give me a Pharrell beat. I want a Pharrell beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't all sound alike, yeah. but you just know. Yeah. You just know. Yeah. Nowadays, I'd be hearing some song. I'd be like, man, I don't even know who made this. Yeah. Let me pull it back, listen to the tag. But I feel like I feel like that's a good thing, though, if you don't know. Because at least, at least for me, I put my tag on stuff because, prim- well, primarily, yeah, you know, recognition. But I also put my tag on stuff because... I do a lot of different styles, so it's like if I were to do like a, like a R and B, something, and then I did like an Afro beat. It's like, oh snap, same by the, made, made by the same people. Yeah, you feel me? Does that make sense? I mean, it's good to not know, but it's also if you know, but the song is still great, and it's still very different. But you still know who it is. That means they really, oh, I hear you. you know what I'm saying? They really did. They dug you with that. Oh wow. Okay. Next one is funny. Next one is I'm. I feel like I'm. I'm not really too well versed in this area. Oh, the greatest I love chef. to. You know. Oh, damn. You're just gonna. Oh, just I'm sorry. Ruin it. I'm That's bad. So I used to watch. I used to watch a lot of Food Network, okay. like the Food Network channels and okay. stuff. So who was very your? interesting. I have to say Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. I, have to, I just have to say him. he has. But most I feel like that's just because 
he's so in your face. No, not even. About what do you mean? Not even. I mean, yes, he is in your face, but I'm saying because like he Anthony Bourdain has, is. He has a lot of. He has the most Michelin stars. No, he doesn't. What no, are you doesn't. talking about? Absolutely not. He does not have the most Michelin stars. Who has the most Michelin stars? There's another chef. I looked because I Googled it yesterday because the chef one was the one I was really curious about. Okay, who is the and most And there's Michelin someone stars? with like 31 Michelin stars. No, I'm not talking Ramsey about. Ramsey has seven. Hold on. Yeah, nah, nah, I'll go look it up. Who has, look up who has the most Michelin stars. Joel yep. Yeah, it started with an R. Yeah. How many does he have? 32. 32. Yeah, and look up how many Gordon Ramsay Gordon has. Gordon is 17. So, okay, 17. Al- so. Oh, Alan did. Hmm. Anthony Bourdain is good, but I feel like because Gordon Ramsay has that Anthony TV Bourdain personality. Is so yeah, he does. He does have. Uh, well, I said Bourdain because Bourdain had a show as well where he traveled all oh, over the world you. and tried different foods and, and cooked with people. Guy Fieri, no one knows it, but I put Chef Boyardee. That's what I put for wow. great <laughs> chef. <laughs> You're an idiot. I put Chef Boyardee. Try to be funny. Yeah, no, but I like um, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I think. I don't know, yeah. man. Them scrambled eggs he be making. I tried making them. I can't eat it like that. What do you mean? Have you ever seen the video of him making the perfect scrambled egg? Uh, no. It's like liquid. It's like the eggs are oh. like liquid. Yeah. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I personally don't like my eggs like that. But I don't like them brown. I don't like. But I want it like a little. You know, it looked like porridge. Like it's still, like because he does like you got to put it on the heat. Yeah. You stir it, then you take it off the heat, then you put it on the heat a little something, and then you put creme fresh, and then you stir it, and then you take it off the heat. You keep taking it off on and off the heat, on and off the uh, heat, until like it gets I to a consistency where it's like soupy, I and then like he spreads it over to like English breakfast, yeah. spreads it over toast, and has like vine tomatoes. And well, you're that's not that's supposed also to, you're also not supposed to season your eggs until after the eggs are done. Well, that's also because of where he comes from. So he, he's 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 European. So that's he's gonna mm, do what's no. But they also call that the perfect scrambled egg. Oh, yeah, no. Like I have you ever watched like um, wet eggs? Yeah, not a, f- <laughs> not a fan. I don't like. That. I don't like that. Not a f- and I season uh, my eggs before I cook them too, which I guess breaks down the yolk and messes with the. I don't. I couldn't tell. I mean, I just it put a little good. salt and pepper. It's that's not really it's that's what that's the problem. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's all he puts on his eggs is salt and pepper and creme fresh. Creme fresh. With a little bit. Greatest of candy. What you thinking? Twix. Mm. Chocolate guy. Twix. Chocolate Twix. Okay, I, I can get that. Somebody said the left and the right Twix are different. No, they're the exact same thing. Yeah, I actually, I, I, I don't know. I think it's, the left twix and the right twix are different. It's literally just a marketing ploy. It tastes different to me. Get people to go, Alrighty, um, greatest candy, greatest candy. So I actually just found this candy I from. He likes warheads. I, I actually, I actually like that. don't like warheads. He likes the sourest warhead. of the I sour. I do like sour candy. Malachi warheads are actually really nasty though, because Malachi. because warheads they're they're one they're overly sour to the point where it's painful, and then it's. And they're just nasty. Malachi's favorite candy is fresh lime, squeezed lime. That's he like squeezes not lime even true. and lemon in his mouth. No, that's, that's your not. favorite candy. I don't like sour patch. I don't believe you. I don't like sour patch. I don't believe. I don't you. like sour patch because they're not really that sour to me. You basically make sour patch flavored Kool Aid every time you make. Bro, Kool-Aid. it's not that sour, it's bro. Nasty. It's not <laughs> sour it's because so I don't nasty. like. I don't like drinking dyed water. No, I don't. I don't want to do it's that. Dyed I want, water. I want some flavor. You know what? You know what I thought when the last time. Have you ever you seen Men in Black, right? Yeah. You remember when the dude just puts sugar in the water and it's like the the alien? Oh yeah. He just puts the sugar in the water and starts. <laughs> but drinking I don't. It. But I don't do that though. No, we don't do that either. I don't do that. We don't do that either. You don't put any sugar. I do put sugar. No, he I just don't just want to taste. Pop. I don't want to taste a cup full of sugar. That's what I don't want. That's what Kool Aid is. Yeah, you can put sugar in, and it tastes no, good. That's what Kool Aid. But is. if I feel like I'm gonna get a cavity after one sip, I don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink that. If I go like, I feel like that's after too, one sip. I don't want to drink it either. It's but it, but that's the thing. It's not that. It's sour, too concentrated. Though. It's too it's concentrated. Not that sour. It anyway, sour. It's too um, concentrated. I actually just found this candy at Target. It's called Albany's World's Great Great at World's Best Gummies. Fantastic. They're gummy bears. The sour versions. They're sour and they Is stay it? sour. They're probably one of the best. What do you mean they're sour and they stay sour? Because you know how sometimes like the, like the little sour sugar whatever's on the outside, and then you put it in your mouth and then it's it goes away. Supposed to be sweet after, yeah. Yeah, no, that no, no, that's gross. If it's a sour candy, I feel like it's. You see what I'm sour. saying, Michael? Do you see what I'm saying though? Did but, you hear what he just said? What he said? I don't like my. That's not candy anymore. You just eating sour. It's still candy. Candy what are you is no. Candy about? is supposed to be sweet. When you like get a sour patch kid like or a watermelon sour patch watermelon it turns, they're sweet. sour at first exactly, and then they 
turn sweet but like I candy. I don't like that though. I he don't wants like it. a candy that is sour and is just just sour. Yes, nothing but. I sour. want a sour candy to that's, be sour. That's gross. No, they're they're sour at first. But that's the thing. I don't want it sour at first. I want it sour throughout the, the entirety see, of my. Do you see what I'm saying, Michael? Do you see what I'm? Do y'all see what I'm saying? He likes his taste buds are off. They're not. They're off. They're not. All right, bro. We're not getting any word. He likes you, things you don't, too salty. I do not too like bro, sour. Bro, we can go on about this for for days. No, but that's the th- everyone no. else knows it. No, you you eat. You, oh my god. Let me give. The, I gotta give the story. I gotta give what the story. What story are you talking about? So, Michael, the people, everybody. Michael, you're a part of this conversation now. Cool. The people. I work at Trader Joe's, right? There's, oh my god. There was a day. Oh my god. See, see. I know where you're going. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. There was a day where I was just lazy. See, I was sitting back in the chair. I because was just it's lazy. It's not true. Shh. Look, it's it's, n- it's not true. It's That's not true. The, the thing about it is, is that are you lying? He's exaggerating. Are you lying? He's, you you are. You're, it's, I'm not you're exaggerating. exaggerating. Let me tell my story, okay, bro. Right. Let me tell my story. So I work at Trader Joe's, right? And you can see by the look on his face. Because it's, it's not, not true. going his way. It's listen, not true. just listen. You're exaggerating. Just listen. So I work at Trader Joe's, right? And I was lazy one day, so I get off. And I grab one of those frozen like penne penne arrabbiata pastas. It's one of those ones you just put in the microwave or on the stove real quick, heat it up, and it's good to go. But it's not gonna taste that good because it's a frozen pasta still. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna you feel me? Add some stuff to it. So I throw it in the pot, heating it up, and I didn't realize. Obviously, I should have realized, but I was I was tired, long shift, and I didn't realize that there was already salt. You know, it was already came seasoned, even though it's not a lot of seasoning. It already had salt. It already had all these different things. So I didn't even look at that, and I'm just adding salt to it, adding seasoning salt on top of the salt and pepper. You know, something I would normally do. I wouldn't put. I didn't put a lot of salt. I put, like, an even amount of salt to season the salt plus, like, pepper, right? Add some sausage to it, chicken sausage. And I'm on the couch eating it, and it's, it's disgusting. It's just too salty because I added salt and seasoning salt to something that was already salted. So it was just too much salt. Malachi comes out, no, 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 right into the living room. He's like, "Oh, what you eating?" I'm like, "Oh, or how is it?" I'm like, "Oh, it's sitting there. I'm about to throw it away. I can't eat it anymore. I messed up. I know I messed up." I was like, "It's too salty." He's like, mm, "Let me try." He picks up the bowl, takes a bite. It's not that salty. It's not that salty. I'm like Malachi because it serious? was not that I said, Malachi, salty. I said, "Malachi, take another bite." He takes another bite. Listen, it's not that listen. bad. He was about to finish the bowl. No, I was. I'm not like about to Malachi. Listen, something your cholesterol listen, is gonna go through the listen, roof, bro. It was not. I've had overly salty no, food no, to the point. I no, I've had overly salty no, food to the point. Where I was like, I just I can't eat this. But it's I told salty. you there was already salt in it. I understand and I added that a bunch of more salt to it. I don't think it was a bunch of more salt. You so, didn't so, okay, see me so, okay, do so, okay, it. So, okay, so here's the thing. Are you saying it was too salty because you could taste salt? No, you always taste salt. Exactly. That's that's well, that's what it how was. How is that an exactly that, situation? Because, because that's what it was. You no. just tasted some salt. But there, my point is, there was already salt in the dish. So if I had just eat, eaten it out of the pan, the pot, it probably wouldn't have tasted as flavorful. But it was already salt to it. And then I, I went ahead and added more salt to it. Therefore, it was salty. That's what <laughs> makes things salty. I, I'm, when you I'm have aware. salt, and there's already tasting of saltness. And then you add more saltness to the salt, it becomes salty. I'm aware. Thank you. I'm so just you saying. ate a salty no. bowl of pasta. No, it was not salty. It that's, was salty. That's, that, it was I, salty. I guess that's what I'm trying to it say. Was, matter, it was okay. salt full. Okay, actually, or maybe, maybe, it was maybe. over salted. Oh my God. Or. It was, no, it was bad. Or. It was bad. It's it like was eating, not it was like eating bad. just butter, just salted butter. What? It was nasty. No. No. Nasty. It was gross. It was salty. Salty. It was not that sodium salty. full. Okay. All sodium right, well, full. Your taste buds are off, and you just told the people agree. that you want sour candy to stay sour. Because you don't it's, want I, it to. Because you don't I want like to have any stay, sweetness to because it. Because I feel what like kind sour of candy, candy is that? It's not candy, bro. I feel like sour candy. That's not candy. Stay sour. But that's okay. Just I just want something sour. That's why I said you might as well just eat a lime. Just eat a lime. No. It's gonna stay sour. It's not gonna get sweet. I promise you. It's not gonna get sweet. So just eat a lime. No. They're what? Get a lemon then. Ah, uh, those are too sour. Because my thing is, there's a, like there's a there's a limit, I guess, for for in terms of sourness. Like warheads, those are way too sour. Those are disgusting. 
I feel like I feel like I'm burning my taste buds off my tongue. Those actually should be those should be illegal. You, I don't think you have taste warheads, buds on your, on your warheads tongue. Warheads should actually be illegal because the I don't believe you. I feel like the, the I don't believe you. I feel like our next video that, that we it post cause, it needs to be you eating a warhead and I want to see your reaction. I don't want to eat a warhead. I feel like you do warheads, though. Or, so actually no, I can't. Okay, get, so I can't get past this. Okay, he said he oh wants sour candy that just doesn't turn into candy. What do you mean doesn't turn? It's already candy. It's not candy. It's sour, bro. My thing is like, okay, if it's sour candy, it okay. should stay sour. Like, I didn't ask for a sweet candy. If I asked for a sweet candy, I would have got a sweet candy that wasn't sour. But there's no other type of candy. Candy is sweet. What do you, bro? No, yes. Candy is sweet, but I'm talking about sweet to the no, point where it's no, like no, no. Listen, bro, okay, listen, no, listen, no, 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 listen. Before listen. I know you're telling us to move on. No, listen. I Google. No, 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 no listen. I Google okay, the go definition ahead. of candy. Oh my god. Okay. First yes. thing, he always go googles go ahead. I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for it. I'm here for he's, it. He's I'm, I'm ready for this. He's googling. I'm ready for this. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So your problem is that I like to look things up to see if it's correct. No, no, no. Because sometimes no, the things that you look. No, you bring it up. Sometimes the things that you look up are objective. Look, listen, listen, listen. No, no, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> listen, listen here. You bring up things. You should not. Li if I have the world, the power of the world, a computer but, in but my pocket, people can literally. And put we're arguing anything. about something that I can put to rest with one. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. That I can want, put to guess, put to rest. See, see now he wants to hide the evidence. One, you know, it's all good. I got my own. With one Google Look search, evidence on my own. Definition of candy. A sweet Who food. Who looks up the definition made, of candy? Because you're not That's eating candy anymore. You're not asking for candy. You need to ask for something else. <laughs> What, am I, what exactly. am I looking for? Because li cause listen, what you, <sighs> Michael, I need your help. I, I don't want you cutting me off. He, so he, let me clarify. He asked for a sour candy that stays sour or doesn't get sweet, right? Correct. Okay. This is the definition of candy. Tell me if that fits this. Okay. A sweet food made with sugar or other sweeteners, typically formed in small shaped pieces and flavored with chocolate, fruit, or nuts. Is there sour anything in that? That is why it's so, called sour. It's called sour candy, which means it gets sour. It's sour at first initially, and then it turns sweet like candy. If you want something that is sour to stay sour, it is no longer candy. Okay, so then what is it? Malachi, how do you feel about like sour skills? Sour skills are cool, but they don't turn super sweet after. That's that's the only thing because but, sour because sour, sour coating goes away. Yeah, you know it goes away. A regular ass candy. Skittle. Yeah, no, a no. Candy. Yeah, yeah. You are left with a skittle, but I mean, so like kids so, can't eat that. Kids love candy. Kids cannot eat a thing that's sour and just stay sour. Okay, I'm not a kid. All right, whatever. Greatest NBA player. <laughs> greatest NBA player. Who's the greatest NBA player of all time? Michael I have, Jordan. That's why I play. I was see. I was gonna say Michael. But Jordan. I would love to be devil's advocate and go for Braun too, because Braun you is. Say, I you say Braun too. I'd, I'd actually be even mean. more devil's advocate and say Steph Curry. Oh. <laughs> That's not that was that's just wrong. I I say I say Steph Curry, <laughs> but here's here's that's why that's wrong. Here's why though. Here's here's why I would say that the only the main reason why I would say that is because Steph Curry changed the way basketball is played. I feel like if you're able to change the way the game is played, I would definitely put you up there as greatest of all time. Okay, well, so is Will Chamberlain on your list? Will Chamberlain's up there, yeah. Is, no, is he like number because, one or because, two? Because because I mean, I Will Chamberlain is single handedly him and Bill Russell are single handedly. Like the reason for like five to six NBA rules that are pivotal in the game now. Okay, when I say, okay, yes, no jumping I, from the free throw line. That's Will Chamberlain because he used to jump and dunk. Okay, when I'm no saying. through defensive <laughs> three in the key. That's because of Will Chamberlain because and, and Bill Russell because they would stand there and block everything. Okay, goaltending. Hold, hold on, hold that's on. because of or basket when interference. I, it's all because of Will when Chamberlain. I, when Bill I say change the game, I'm not saying change the game in a negative way. Like they those did. aren't. That's not a negative way. They, they changed had, the game to make it more fair because I it wasn't fair. I understand. They that. were so good at the game, they exploited the rules so well that they had to make extra rules to make the game fair okay. for everyone else. Okay, with that logic, you say things. You can say the same thing about James Harden. They had to change that rule because he always would draw contact with his ridiculous shots. I don't think he's one of the greatest of all time. I'm well, saying, but, but, I, but James Harden doesn't have the numbers to back the greatest of all time though. They have the numbers. Will oh. Chamberlain and Bill Russell have the numbers to back that. What I'm well, okay, I, I I hear what you're Plus saying. Plus they changed the rules. I hear what you're saying. What I'm saying though is in terms of Steph Curry is that there's nothing you can do to change there's nothing you can do to that. There's nothing you can do to change what he did. Everybody nowadays is what shooting. Everyone had to develop a strap because Steph Curry was taking off. What do you mean there's nothing to do? What I what don't do you, understand what do you, what statement. Do you gonna, I'm okay, you're saying that they had to they had to um they had to, so it, same thing with James Harden. They had to change the rule. You can't alter your shot to, to to draw contact, right? They had to change that rule because they were exploiting something, 
right? Yeah. Steph Curry's not exploiting really. He's not exploiting anything. He's playing the game the way it should be played. He takes a shot from the three point line. Okay. He's just really good at it. So now the entire league, now every now everybody shoots because of him. Well, you say he's playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. There's not really a there's not really a way the game is supposed to be played. What do you mean? That makes sense. What do you mean? Like because if you if you want to talk about that, the way that the Warriors started playing basketball is not the way that the game of basketball has been played for its entire existence. Are you talking about like, like shooting and stuff? Yeah, the, the 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 volume of shooting, the screens, the like positionless ball with playing mm-hmm. like pretty much all small. That's n- that's not how. Yeah, the, it's like, un- so it's un- it's unorthodox for sure. Shumpert Shumpert uh, Amon Shumpert put it really well in 2016 when they played the Cavaliers. That's mm-hmm. was that the 73 and 19. Hmm. 16? No, 17 was 27, 3, and 19. But 2016. What are you talking about? The 73 and 9 Warriors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 17. 17. So that 2016 team, right, when they played the Cavaliers the yeah. first time, and it was the Cavaliers who played pick and roll, big man, you know, uh, a lot of set plays, basketball, mm-hmm. versus a team that was just running and gunning and shooting from all over the court. Just a yeah. bunch of shooters. Multiple ninety percent from uh ninety percent free throw shooters. Nope. Twenty sixteen. Twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen. Okay, so yeah, that exact year. Yeah. Seven three nine Warriors and the, uh, the Cavaliers, Cavaliers, right? Cavaliers, yep. And Braun who played the traditional way. <laughs> Amon said traditional way. Amon, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but Amon said that, you know, whoever won that series mm-hmm. was the way basketball was gonna go for the next few years. Mm-hmm. Which was true. The Warriors won and teams started to pick up players that played le- that can fit the can Warriors shoot. system. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so now there's a lot of teams in the league. They play run and gun ball. They run a lot of screens and shoot a high volume of threes. That's very true. It's gotten to the extent where they shoot deep threes now. Yeah. You got players like Steph, Trey Young, Dame, Dame Lillard, yep. who are shooting from the, the lights out. Yeah. The lights out. Um. But Steph, I don't know. I give Steph another ring. Yeah. I mean, you could probably put. Him. But the thing about Steph is like, the first like four seasons of his career, he was just like, he was just. All right, like his records are going to be broken. Well, I mean, yeah. If Trey Young stays healthy for his career, he's gonna break pretty much all those three point records. <laughs> he's gonna break like all of them. All you think he's gonna break all those yes. three point records? Yeah. Mm. You see, because you, Trey Young's averaging see. almost thirty a game in his third, fourth year. No, I understand that. I'm saying Steph's not doing that. I feel like, and he's shooting at a way higher clip, way earlier. Steph started shooting at a higher clip, 2014, on, yeah. 13, 15. fifteen. That's when, when Steph starts shooting a super high volume of threes per game. Trey Young's shooting seven, eight threes a game since day one. It's going to get broken. Steph also had well, injuries, like a lot of ankle injuries, to the point where he missed entire seasons but, or almost entire yeah, seasons. He so he problems. cut time off of his career for being great. But and, and but Trey Young started that way. If he stays again, healthy, he's, not, he's, he's steamrolling that. But I'm again, sorry. I feel like that also goes back to – the standard that Steph set, that st- uh, the standard that Steph set. So because he did start shooting, uh, shooting a higher volume of uh, threes and stuff like that, then when Trey got into the league, boom, he's already he's already caught up with him. Yeah, but he also only has one um, Finals MVP. Who? Which is a hard sell, Steph. Oh yeah, and he just got it this year. Yeah. I mean, the Eagle Dollar one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would give I would give that to Steph too. But the bottom line is he didn't get it. Mm-hmm. He got one Finals MVP and four rings. Yeah. Every finals that Braun won. Every finals Braun that Jordan also just every finals that Jordan won. Braun it is wasn't also, even like a question. Braun's also just he's he's a different breed. Like he was able to take and people disagree, but or some 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 was disagreeing. But if you're what able you to take, say? what are you gonna say? No, you agree with me on this. Okay. I'm saying if you're able to take a, a a team full of nobodies. What team is this? Throw them on your back when he was on the Cavs when everybody okay. was injured. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about the team full of scrubs. Wait, Throw wait, on your wait, back. wait, wait. Which team are you? Wait, which, which Cavs team are you talking about? I'm talking about when he was just just the the recent one when they won. No, oh, not, they're, not, not they're the recent not, one. Them not nobodies, bro. They played great, really good system basketball. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. But I I'm thought you were talking saying, about the first time he went to the I'm finals saying, and got well, swept. Even that too. No, that's the but only even, one. But if Brom, the rest of the times he had a good team. When Brom's putting up, I know, but. Uh, uh, Kyrie Love. was Ke- Kevin Love was injured. Kevin Love or uh, both both of them, but they Kevin. got injured in the finals, so I, right before I, the finals. I Kevin Love that. got injured in against Boston in the conference finals. I understand that. What I'm saying is that Braun took the rest of the team, threw him on his back, and won the championship against my team. Wait, they he was putting up 50 a game. Was Kyrie not there that year? No, Kyrie was not there. I thought the year that Kyrie and Kevin Love were gone, they didn't win. 
No, they did. Hold on, because they did win. Because I remember people. I remember I was sitting there like, oh, it's, we got in, we got in the back. Wait, no, no, no. What was no. the year? The last the time year? the Warriors, the Warriors, last time the Warriors lost was, was the Raptors. Yeah, now it's when I'm, KD no, I'm and Clay went down. Yeah, that was that the was year that the I can't year lie, that, that was heartbreaking. The year bro. that the Cavs beat the Warriors, Kyrie went off in the finals. Hold on, he had like 12, 13, like one of the, like the last twelve points or something like that. Yeah, he went off at the end that? of the finals. When they lost Kevin Love, I th- I think they lost the the series. But no, bro, there was a year where LeBron Lee just threw everybody. Was, I can't remember. But anyway, well, the year was when they played the Spurs and got swept in the finals. That was his first time going. It was like I don't know what year it was. Third year, two thousand five or something like that. Four, five, five maybe. But yeah, that was the year he put he put a bunch of like Anderson Vergeau and them on his back. <laughs> Vergeau, yeah. Mo Williams. Golly. Greatest cereal. Um, you're not gonna like my answer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I say Reese's Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's just that's, that's like eating candy. It actually really isn't. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I mean, you, you can say, say you can say the same thing about Cocoa Puffs. I mean, it's yeah, chocolate. Yeah, yeah I mean, so Cookie Crisp is literally just eating little nah, cookies and do milk. That. that one's cool. Mine's Special K strawberry. Oh God. <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, greatest chain restaurant. We're just gonna gloss nah, over what nah, you just nah. said. No, no, no. Are you we're, that's we're, so gl- slept. You don't like special K strawberry? No, no. We're With the red, be- the freeze dried berries. Greatest chain restaurant. We're you just know what? People, what you people that said. watch this, let me know if you like special K strawberry. Please. I say. Popeyes. Greatest chain restaurant, and you're going with Popeyes. I say Popeyes. One of the most inconsistent. Chains. Mm, actually, it depends. Y- yes. It depends where you go. Yes. Okay. Who are you saying? What are you saying? I mean, In and Out. <laughs> and that's all. So actually, it's a tie. I want to thank everybody. In and Out and McDonald's. McDonald's is great. McDonald's is great, especially McDonald's breakfast. They got like the best breakfast of all the fast food chains. Yeah. You just said yeah. the gr- the best, the greatest the chain restaurant of all time. Tie, it's yeah. McDonald's. In and Out. What? In and Out. So. I want to thank everybody for. Uh, Wait, what's your thing about up? In-N-Out? Wait, why don't you like In-N-Out? I know I do like In-N-Out. Why is it not the greatest? I don't know. I just I don't know, bro. Because okay, I if feel like I it's find not just myself, ta- it's not just taste of food that makes In-N-Out the greatest. My thing. Okay, here's my thing. It's also affordability. Yeah, it is cheap. In-N-Out is is, is think about that. No, it's cheap. You, but my it's, thing is, it's literally the same price as like a a McDonald's meal. Yeah. But it's just much, much, much better. This this is why I say Popeyes. When I was in Vallejo, I think it was during COVID. If I find myself eating Popeyes at least three, four times a week, that's a lot. That's that is there's too an much. issue. I don't yeah, know. I agree. There's an issue. There's got to be crackers. I only used to go on Tuesdays. Yeah, but it got to a point where they it's had like, two dollar Tuesdays. You get a leg and a thigh for two dollars and a biscuit. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. it was like I think it was like the end of that week. And I have no money. I'm yeah, 15 no, I don't years know why. Old. We used to walk all the way down the street. I used to pay in quarters. <laughs> he did for. I'm dead serious. <laughs> we used to put together all our money like in a bag, like in a Ziploc bag, and it was just coins. Sometimes we'd have dollar coins, That's just co- coins, and we used to go like, "Hey, here's my two dollars. <laughs> here's my, here's two, my two dollars. Give me a leg and a thigh and a biscuit and a water cup, and I'm putting juice in a water cup because wow. that's just the kind of person that I was. Wow. But yeah, after that week of, I, I realized I was like, "Wow, I've had Popeyes like three days in a row." I did. Like this, this so you decided at that point in time it's the greatest chain restaurant it, it, of all bro, time. If, if it's you said, man, I had Popeyes three times this week, which, by the way, Popeyes ain't cheap, man. No, no it's more. Not. It's not. But, uh, but, yeah, I had to eat a couple good salads. I was like, God, my, color, my arteries are You didn't have no so. salad. No, I definitely bro. did because no, did. I, I internally no. felt I like I felt gunky. I don't believe you. Okay, well, I felt gunky. I feel like In-N-Out has, I don't know. In-N-Out is just, they're really consistent. And the main uh, thing, I've the main thing that people okay, before. so that's the thing though, um, th- you've had bad fries from everywhere, yeah. But Which is why I wouldn't put McDonald's. Okay, why wouldn't you put McDonald's? A fresh McDonald's fry? What chain yeah, restaurant? Fresh. Uh, How often ch- do you get fresh fries from McDonald's? Whenever you ask for them. Okay, bro. <laughs> is that not a is that not a thing? Okay. Whenever you say I want fresh fries, if you go in there and say I want fresh fries, they're gonna give you fresh fries. Okay. Well. I mean, I guess sure. And, and in and out, I asked for my fries. Well done. Gives them more crisp. How do you? Okay. Yeah. Come on. See, you don't even know. You don't even know well the game done. like that. I, I just never asked for fries like I'm ordering a steak. Well, well, when you go to a restaurant and you have things that you want to add or change to your, can menu, I have medium well fries? Well, you know what he asked for? 
18 packets of barbecue sauce. That's oh what Malachi God. asked for. And that's what I'm saying. Well, he overdoes it with things. I don't overdo oh it, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, you Dude, need, I d- we okay. need to do another video <laughs> of Malachi dipping his his chicken nuggets in sauce. Bro. Because it's because he eats sauce with a side of nugget. No, because you need to no, taste the n- sauce. You don't taste the nugget. That's the problem is all you taste is sauce. It's you know it's a co- it's a complimentary condiment. That's what they offer you. I you dip it. You take a bite. I agree. He drenches it. But if and you eats give the whole, me one sauce for twenty nuggets, two that's sauce. an issue. They give you two. They give you two. I still don't even think that's enough. You're saying he I, gets eight. You're saying you're, you're okay. Hold on. He gets okay. Eight. Hold on. You're he telling. I don't get pays. eight. I don't get eight. I get like five, six. <laughs> you're telling me. Hold on. Just just real quick. Tell that me. Means, tell that me means it no, takes just, him five nuggets to get through one sauce. Only five nuggets gets him through one whole, and that's, I'm talking like there's nothing. You see all white. There's nothing left in the sauce packet. Dude, that's, that. okay, hold on. You're saying, hold on, you're telling me that it is acceptable to use 10 nuggets on one sauce? Them little itty bitty sauces, 10 nuggets on one sauce. I can't, I can't eat one oh, sauce, 10 no. nuggets. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, it, like if this is a chicken, if this is a chicken nugget, right? When he dips the sauce, the chicken in the sauce, it's like to like right here on the nugget. Like it's it's yeah. completely like you're taking all the sauce, almost all the sauce in one dip. Okay. It's right. insane. There was a time where we were at the DC and I have this on video where Malachi, you know how the DC they have the little sauce cups, the di- the the dining commons, the servery, I'm sorry. <laughs> at the servery. They give you like the little sauce cups, the plastic ones for your sauce. Malachi got another bowl. Yes, you. Yes, you did. You. Whoa, you're lying. Cause he used to take the the chicken patties that they put in the chicken sandwiches, and dip them and eat it as like a chicken tender, and he would get a bowl, and pour it with figure fill it up with barbecue sauce like a quarter of the way, and that was his sauce. That is too much. That's too much. Okay, but I also didn't use. Yes, you. All most of, of it. Most of it. You have a problem. So this turned into an you illicit attack problem. Malachi yeah, that's type what, of episode. Honest, cause think about it, bro. All the salt you eat. I don't eat. All the sour you oh my eat. Oh, God, bro. All the salt. Like, it's just, you just overdo it <laughs> I all. Don't, I don't overdo like, there's it. Like, just, you overdo it all. You don't need to use that much. Okay. Tone it down a bit. Okay. All right. Well. Greatest chain restaurant is in and out. So thank you for tuning in to the intervention of malachi yeah yeah that's what that's, this what, the, that's what it was and well, let me sorry. I, no 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 no, no you're done i'm wrong you're done <laughs> you're done you're done talking for today mm-hmm. so uh i want to appreciate everybody for uh coming up this episode you know let us know if you agree or disagree because i think that sour candy should stay sour that's just i feel like it's a, just, a, a, just a standard stop calling it candy i feel like that's a standard it's not but candy anyway uh tune it's, in it's not candy no more yes it is it's, it's not, always been candy not by definition Tune into it's, the Instagram. It's been candy because it gets sweet. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. Apple Podcasts, TikToks TikTok. as well. TikTok. We're about to get um, on TikTok. We're about to make a big push on TikTok. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And then we have a, another big episode coming soon. Oh, yeah. We do. It's going to be fun. We yep. talked about Greatest Chef. Mm-hmm. Going to have to add me to that list after this all one. All right. Okay. Yeah, me right next to Chef Boyardee. I don't even know why he's in Yes, the... indeed. Yes, all indeed. All right. But anyway. See, that that wraps it up for Season 4, Episode 4, The Goat. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. I'm Nahum. I'm Malachi. Till next time.